All right, guys, so we are back inside Unreal Engine 5, and here we are going to be creating this scene, which you see right here. Uh, so as you can see, it's completely in made completely inside of Unreal Engine 5. And um, there's a bicycle right there, which we imported from Blender. However, you can get a model from the internet as well. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that as well. Um, but I used uh, the transportation add-on inside of Blender. Um, but don't worry about that. If you don't have it, then that's no big of a deal. And then we added some foliage on the ground, which looks pretty realistic. And then we just uh, placed our camera, something like that. And I think the overall vibe of the scene is pretty um, ancient and pretty um, vintage. Uh, so we did import this um, th this background from Megascans, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that as well. Uh, so yeah, let's just begin with this whole process. Um, so yeah, first of all, you can just create a new project, which I'm just going to do. Just close this. And I'm going to be opening Unreal Engine 5. And then you can just wait for that to open. And once it is open, just go to games, blank project, and just name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it bicycle underscore SS. Um, and you can just specify the location. Make sure that it's blueprint um, because we, we're not really using C++ or blueprint. So like it doesn't really matter that much. And make sure to turn on this ray tracing if you can. Now, obviously, you will need an RTX graphic card for this and NVIDIA RTX graphic card for this. However, um, I think it just makes the, whole, makes the whole render look a lot better if you have ray tracing turned on. So just make sure to turn it on if you have a graphic card which supports that and if you can afford the performance cost. So just create the project and let's just wait for it to open. All right, so we are inside Unreal Engine 5. And what I like to do usually is I like to create a brand new level. So I'm just going to go to File, New Level, and I'm going to be creating an empty level because I like to start from uh, from scratch. Um, in this level, we have already have a bunch of stuff which I don't want to mess around with. And just press Control S to save this level. And I'm just going to be naming it by Bicycle underscore SS. All right, perfect. So now we have this level and we can just um, start working on this. So first of all, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be going to the landscape mode and we're going to be creating a landscape. Now we're just doing this for um, uh, to create the floor basically. Uh, so just create it. No need to sculpt or anything like that. So now we have the whole floor um, and now we can move on to the next step, which is going to be the lighting. Now the lighting is pretty simple because it's outdoor lighting and outdoor lighting in Unreal Engine 5 is probably one of the very easy things. Um, so just go to window environment light mixer and we can just uh, use this to create the lights so just create a skylight create atmospheric light zero uh, we're not going to be creating the atmospheric light one because we already need or well, because we already have one so we don't need an, another one create sky atmosphere create volumetric cloud and create height fog and so you can see our lighting is basically done we are going to be making some tweaks later on but for now we are good to go all right now let's move on to um, importing the bicycle model so for that what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go inside blender um, now, all right, so you can just create a new project inside of Blender. And what I did was I used this transportation add-on, uh, which is really good for importing cars or any sort of um, vehicle that you want. Uh, I used this generic bicycle. However, you can use the Blender kit add-on as well, which is free. The transportation add-on is not free. Um, and I will be showing you alternatives for that. Uh, so you can just search bicycle in this Blender kit add-on and you will find some uh, free ones if you search free first. Uh, so here's one option which you have if you had if you're going for something more um, futuristic you can you can go with this um, and in fact I would actually recommend you to experiment with your own ideas and try something different uh, instead of just copying the render which I made um, I think we don't really have any bicycle any good like sort of regular bicycles in here uh, so we can just simply go to the internet and search for bicycle 3d model and you are going to find a lot of free models right here uh, so you can just go go to free 3D or you can go to Sketchfab. Um, I haven't really heard of this website, CADNAV, uh, but I know that TurboSquid and CG Trader um, and Download Free 3D, these are all trusted websites. So you can just use those to download them. And so you can just download this road bike or yeah, so you, you do have a lot of these options. Um, so I will, I'll, be, I'll also be showing you how exactly do you need to import this inside of Unreal Engine 5. So just make sure that this format, uh, this file format is something which you can import. So in this case, it's blend. It's not blend. It's, it's a blender file, which is going to be really simple for us because we can simply open it inside of blender and then we can export it into Unreal Engine 5. However, if you have something which is which has let's say an a dot obj file or it's a dot fbx file i would still recommend you to actually open this first inside of blender and then open it uh, and then export it again 
and then import it inside of Unreal Engine 5. So I'm going to be showing you what I mean in just a bit. So you can just download this. All right, now this is the blend file which we have. Just open it. If, for example, you got um, an FBX file or, an, or a .obj file, then you can just simply go to um, File, Import, and FBX, or um, where is OBJ? Oops. Yeah, this wavefront.obj, and then you can just select the file and import it. But in this case, we already do have this set up. So this looks pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so once you have this, make sure that you delete everything except for the bicycle itself. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be making sure that I delete all the lights and everything. Because we don't really need them inside of Unreal Engine 5 and delete the camera as well. Just make sure that the only thing in your scene is the bike, not this light. Um, and then I'm going to be selecting all these objects and make sure that they are on, uh, in the center of your scene. And basically it's resting on the ground. Make sure to do that so that we can easily uh, move it around and scale it inside of Unreal Engine. So I think that should be good. Okay, perfect. So now once you have this model ready, you can just go ahead and go to File, Export, and FBX. And then you can just select whatever you want to export this file. I'm just going to save it in my Models folder. Old bike export FBX and now you can just simply go ahead and import this inside of Unreal Engine 5. Now how exactly do you need to do that? Firstly just go to content, uh, go th just click on this content folder, right click and create a, new, create a new folder. This obviously is optional but I would recommend you to, to create a folder for all your models because that just keeps things very organized and very um, decluttered which is something obviously which is good. Um, so you can just browse to wherever you had exported that model um, and yeah, a road bike right here and just drag it in side of Unreal Engine. Make sure to press this import all button and just wait for it to import. Now, if you have a slow computer, then it might take a bit for it to import, but I think we are already done. Yeah, so you're going to see all these models separately. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be selecting the first mesh. Make sure to not select these um, materials. Just make sure to select the first mesh. Go to the end. Press shift on your keyboard and select the last mesh. And so all the meshes are going to be selected. And then you can just click on any of these and drag it inside of your viewport. And now you are going to see um, the bike being imported. All right, now one problem which we did, um, one, one error which we made was that we did not actually check the normals. Now if I just go back to Blender and if I just go to my uh, this um, viewport shading mode, if I just cl uh, click this drop down button right here, and if I select this face orientation mode, you're going to see that we uh, some of these faces are actually inverted, which means that they are actually red. And that is not something which we want inside of Unreal Engine because you're going to see these weird shading issues. You see these weird shading issues. Uh, and that is something which we can avoid by having by basically inverting our normals inside of Blender. And that is why I always recommend you to first import all models in Blender first. Uh, make sure that the normals are not inverted um, and then you can export them into Unreal Engine. So I'm just going to select any of these parts. Press A to select all of them. Press Tab to go into edit mode. And then you can press A again to select everything. And then we can just go to Mesh, Normals and Recalculate Outside. Now you're going to see that all of them are going to be um, all of them are going to be blue and I think this is pretty good all right so now you're going to see that everything is blue and uh, it's all fine so let's export this again into an Unreal Engine so just export FBX I'm just going to name it road bike 02 export FBX and we can uh, simply just select all of them and delete them force delete and now we can just export uh, this uh, we can just import the road the new road bike model again in Unreal Engine. Okay, so um, just again, select everything and import them. And now you're gonna see those shading issues are not um, present and everything seems to be fine. Perfect. Uh, so one thing which I'm gonna be doing is that I'm, I'm not actually gonna be using this model uh, because I think this road bike that doesn't really fit with the scene, I'm gonna be using the model which I used previously from the transportation add-on. So I'm just gonna be deleting all these again the purpose of me doing this was just to show you guys how to import any other model um, into Unreal Engine. However, the one which I'm going to be using is from this transportation add-on. And this is something which I recommend because these models are really high quality and they're really good. 
So you can just click on them and you're going to see this model uh, just appear in your scene. Um, now you can export this again as FBX. However, I already did that and I'm going to be just importing that model. I think I called it bicycle. Yeah, bicycle.fbx. Oops. Just drag this inside of Unreal Engine. Import all. And just wait for it to import. All right, so the bike has been imported and I'm just going to be selecting all of them. Just select the first one, press shift and select the last one. And then you can drag it in your scene. Okay, so this bike is in. It looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to be reducing the camera speed to two because I want to be able to move it slowly. Um, right, so now let's move on to the next step, which is going to be texturing this bike.